Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Guys, today in this particular video, we are going to talk about Test Rail, which is a test management tool. You can do a lot of things over there, a lot of integration. You can integrate with your automation as well with Selenium. So in this particular video, we will be talking about how to set up Test Rail, how to create your test cases, test cycle, test execution, a different type of integration and everything we will be seeing that. So I'll be preparing only a couple of videos on that, but in most of the things we will be doing in the same video only. A lot of people were asking about I mean, please prepare some video on uh, test rail and uh, and then uh, Zira tool is also available we have for that so test rail is a pure test management tool guys so let's do one thing that you simply go to this particular site gurock.com here you can see this is the official website for the test uh, rail and it's clearly written that comprehensive test case management tool for QA and development teams for 14 days you will be getting the 14 days uh, free uh, you can use that and you simply click on test rail for free what do you just need to do that you have to create an account initially so you can download test rail for your server as well as uh, let's say you're maintaining one a typical uh, machine for that a dedicated machine for that you can download and then you can start the server and the entire team or uh, your organization will be uh, using this particular server or you can simply directly uh, go to their cloud test rail cloud and uh, that is an online edition for the test rail you can prefer this particular option also i would advise you to go with this option and then here you have to give your uh, different details over here so let's say i'm writing some different details over here i'm writing naveen automation labs whatever okay let's see tomorrow you're joining amazon or or uber so you will be writing the url will be created like this uh let's see amazon.testrail.io like that okay and then i'm going to enter my name over here let's say i'm entering naveen and uh, country is india i'm entering some email id over here let's see this uh, naveen animation 20 at gmail.com and then i'm entering let's see my company name is naveen automation labs how many uh, users you expect so let's see i'm expecting around five users phone number is it's optional you can ignore that i'm not a robot and uh, click on this click on this agree accept the license agreement terms conditions and everything and click on create test trial when you see this that it's saying please enter a first and last name so let's enter a first name last name over here and i think uh, select it once again and then click on test rail yeah so you can see that okay yeah so uh, already one email has been sent to this particular email id and then you have to confirm the email id it will give you one confirmation link over there and then you have to confirm so yeah you see that email address has been confirmed you can see that and that's it and after that it's saying that from there and test rail account it's creating a new uh, test rail account for this particular labs test rail.io and you will automatically be re redirected to test rail account once it is ready so let's wait for some time it takes a couple of minutes to set up the account and once it is done yeah so it is done you can write your name over here so let's see my name full name i'm writing naveen kodeta like this and then select this particular checkbox to confirm the agree and license and terms and everything and then click on submit when you click on submit you see that okay yeah data processing agreement successfully done and that's it and immediately after that this is the welcome screen or you can say this is the dashboard screen you have to create a multiple projects over here guys so first we need to understand that especially this particular video for people who really want to learn a test management tool second thing is that if you have not any experience in test automation or in testing field or in manual testing it will help you a lot because this is what in real time projects we do that where exactly you want to write your test cases how to create a test suite test plan how to create a test cycle and what are the different regression cycle smoke sanity cycle or feature based cycle we can create that so these things you will be learning in this particular video so very beneficial and the similar kind of tools we have available in the form of zira also we have the fire plugin over there but this is also one really good tool uh, test rail it's not open source but uh, you have to pay for it but a lot of companies they started using this particular tool and for their test management activities so immediately after that when we land on this particular page we have to click on project we have to add a project over here and let's add one project over here so whatever the project name uh, let's see i'm simple writing my project name is uh, let's say i'm writing for amazon okay just take any example let's say i'm writing for amazon and um, amazon application something like this i'm writing it and uh, you can write some announcement if you want to do that this is just an optional thing and then what exactly they say that okay there are three types of project you can create 
a project use a single repository for all the test cases use a single repository with the baseline support and use multiple test suite to manage test cases all three options are having the unique one it's first option saying that okay a single test suite repository is easy to manage and flexible so only one single repository test repository will be created for most of the projects with no or few concurrent versions you will be getting it you can use sections and subsections to further organize your test cases so this is a recommended one you can use that from the single project you can create um, on the single uh, repository you can create uh, a single test suite over there and you can execute directly from there second option is that use a single repository with baseline support uh, with additional option to create baseline to manage multiple branches of your test cases at the same time this is the ideal if you need to test multiple project version in parallel so let's see some companies what happens that uh, you have multiple projects and uh, or let's see one single project having multiple versions you want to execute Let's see something is running on some different uh, platform and different versions something is running on a different platform with the different versions in that case you can prefer this i would advise you to use a, a third one use multiple test suites to manage a different test cases can be useful to organize your test cases by functional areas and application modules let's say i want to execute only a user management test cases or order management test cases or a spec or login related test cases i would uh, divide into that particular area and okay on the basis of different modules at the test suite level and then i can execute and i can uh, separate it differently this is the traditional mode of test rail is automatically used for upgraded projects so let's use this particular option and then click on add project when you click on add project you see that okay yeah this amazon application got created over here this is the this is the project name and this is the first project that we have created over here then what you have to do that after that you have to create the test suites over here so i first go to a uh, test suite over here you can add it but before that you can see that yeah this is the to do if you have any to do notes or something like this you can add that you can add some milestone we will talk about milestone later this is the most important section test runs and test uh, results and test suites and cases you can check it over here you can see the result over here you can execute the result from this particular tab i mean you can execute your test cases from this particular tab and then test suite and cases you can see it over here and then different types of report also you can generate then what you can see that okay yeah this is your account uh, settings you can check your settings over here your email id language preferences a uh, time zone different things you can do that and then we have administration sections also where are uh, different types of settings site settings let's see if you want to integrate with the uh, with some other tool let's see selenium or some any automation tool they expose different apis and everything they do that see you click on enable api they will give you certain api you can create their authentication api and and the uh, username password and the token you can create so that you can send whenever any test is getting failed from selenium automatically it will be updated over here so those things maybe we can do it later in some upcoming uh, videos but uh, quickly let's see i'll go to the dashboard once again it's a very simple uh, project guys uh, it's already added project we have already created amazon application now i am going to let's see on test uh, suites over here when you go to test suites click on add a test suite over here and let's see i'm giving a name what is the name of the test suite so let's see in amazon there is a application or there is a section let's see login page so i'm going to write some login page i simply write login page or i would write this is amazon login page this is my suite name right and same thing let's see in the description i'm writing it you can write some proper description click on add a test suite over here when you add the test suite you can add multiple sections also let's see in the login page you have different sections let's see forgot password reset password a typical login such things also you can do that or you can directly start writing a test cases over here so simple click on add test case over here and then let's see i'm going to write my first test here my first test i'm going to write let's see something i'm writing uh let's see <clears throat> this is login so i simply write uh, my first test is that user is able to okay log in into amazon application this is a test case yes so yeah you can see that okay yeah this is my test case and then they provide two different type of templates guys especially test cases and test cases in the form of text and one is test cases in the form of steps over here so you must have seen that okay when we write the test cases in excel file we have to write in the form of uh, test cases with the help of text and then 
for every step also you can write your expected result and the actual result and when you run your test cases every step wise also you can execute that so these are the generally two a uh, major uh, a template we follow to write a test cases so let's see i'm picking the test cases step over here right and what is it's a functional type test i'm writing and there are different options are available compatibility performance regression security like that so let's see this is my functional test case what is a priority priority is uh, high over here and then what is a precondition so i simply say that user is okay user is present on amazon login page this is the precondition that we have written and uh, let's see simple we have to add a test case over here so it says that add your first step over here click on add the first step and here you can write the step and what exactly you are expecting so this is my first step that okay let's see user enters username and what exactly you are expecting so i simple write user should be able to enter username simple so let's see this is a, a simple step that we have written so simple click on add step over here and then the next step you can write let's see i simple write again user enters password i write it over here user enters password so each and every step you can write it like this and i simply say that okay user should be able to enter a password over here and then i simply they say that okay last step is that user clicks on let's see login button and i simply say that user should be able to click on login button so should be able to i'll write it over here login button and let's see this is the uh, test case that we have written and let's see i'm adding one more step over here that when we click on login button and then the last step is that user is able to log into the application and expected result is that user should be able to log in i'll write some more expected result over here that user should be able to see the home page and let's see user should be able to see right his account uh, details like that or let's see user should be able to see a message over here what is a message the message is that a welcome username whatever the username that you are passing right okay so likewise you can do that another thing is that guys if you really want to enter a step along with the data what is the username you want to write so let's say i'm writing navin at the rate gmail.com i can write my username and then i can write my password over here that uh, let's see my password is navin123 this is my password so in anchor brackets within these two brackets you can write it and then user should be able to do that and the i simple write welcome navin over here and simple add this entire test so what do you see this this entire test you can see over here that user is able to log in into amazon application this is a title of the page title of the uh, test case and having these four steps are available and these are the different attributes and the metadata over here so let's add some one more test case over here so how will you add another test so you can do one thing what again you can do simple test suite in cases you can see that amazon a uh, login page and you just click on it you will see that c1 c1 means this is the case id this is my a uh, test case id got created over here and this is the title that we have already created and let's say i want to add some more test cases for the amazon login page so i simply click on this and the case title is i simply say that quickly i'm writing let's see user is able to reset password right so this is the second test i have written you click on this particular second test and then you click on add it over here when you click on add it again the section is test case now this time let's see in the previous section what we have done in the previous test case we have written test case step wise let's write test case with text wise i don't want to follow each and every step over there let's say i want to follow i want to write all the steps in a simple text over here not in the form of different steps so click on this what type of test case it is this is functional test case and the the reset password is also high and uh, let's see or maybe i would say critical user should be able to reset the password like that and estimate you want to give let's say i want to give that okay yeah uh, let's see something 10 i'm giving over here you can say that okay maybe it could be 10 minutes or whatever how much time it took 
So let's say it's taking around two minutes of time to execute that and uh, or to uh, write this particular test case automation type right now it's none later on we can configure when we integrate with some other folks so you will see more options over here that yeah automation type with ran or selenium or whatever so let it be none over here now what are the preconditions so precondition is that user right is on a login page this is a precondition user in the login page and then we have to reset the password so what are the different steps you want to write? So my first step, I can write it over here like this. My first step is that user clicks on, let's see, a reset password link. Second thing is that user enters something. Let's see, uh, <clears throat> I want to change my password, right? Current password, expecting. So my expectation is that user should be able to and I simply write a user should be able to log in with new password, whatever the password that we have changed, right? Password. And then click on save test case. So yeah, <clears throat> so this is the second test having all these steps. So this is a typical, if you remember Excel sheet format that we generally we use that. This is my precondition, these are the attributes, and this is my test case I, uh, title over here, and then uh, these are my expected result and this is the steps to reproduce you can check it over here created by updated by naveen time and date everything is coming over here like that i'll go to my test suite in cases once again this is the amazon login page here you will see two test cases got created <clears throat> so this test case got created on the basis of their steps second test is created on the basis of the simple text over there in the form of steps to reproduce <coughs> okay now let's see i want to execute my test cases so i simply go to test run section over here test test runs and results so simply go over here and uh, click on add your test run so i just simply click on add test run over here and what is the test suite name so i can select the test suite name is amazon login page that we have created and click on ok similar kind of stuff we do it in uh, zira also and this is the name of the uh, test run you can again edit it if you really want to give a specific name uh references any let's see some uh, zeta uh, reference or any uh, user story reference you want to give you can give that right now we don't have any milestone we will talk about milestone later if you really want to assign that okay let's see i'm the manager i want to assign to naveen so naveen will be getting a notification to execute uh, these test cases and let's say you want to distribute your test cases to different people or different qa members in your team that also you can do that what is the description for that so let's say simple write this uh, test run a cycle for a regression for let's see build number we got the build number 1.0 and similarly i'll be writing amazon login page this is my regression cycle because at the time of let's see regression i'm running this particular test case and my regression cycle is 1.0 later on let's say after 15 days again you want to do a regression 2.0 3.0 like that you can bump up the version and you can create your own cycle over here so I would say regression cycle or you can say regression test cycle, whatever the name you want to give, you can give that and uh, include all the test cases, specific test cases or dynamic filtering. We can talk about uh, you can check it later, but let's say I want to include whatever test cases that we have written. I want to import all the test cases in this particular cycle because I want to execute all the test cases and then click on add test run. Can you see that okay yeah successfully uh, added the test run right now we have zero percent result because we haven't executed it's saying untested over here now i want to execute my test cases so what i'm going to do that let's see i want to execute my first test so click on this particular link over here the title of the page so title of the case you come over here and you see that okay yeah you can see the result over here and just simple click on add the test result when you add a test result over here, you can see that, okay, you can select the specific status, pass, blocked, retest, fail, and everything. And then for every step, this is the advantage you will be getting in the first template, the stepwise template, user enters username. This is my username. An expected result is that user should be able to enter the username. So let's say I'll open the application. I'm doing my testing over here. And I see that, okay, yeah, this is absolutely working fine. I make it pass over here. Second the user enters a password. Yeah, this is also working fine. So for every step you will see what exactly you want to do and what exactly you are expecting and their respective status you can change from here. 
and then user clicks on login button so let's click on passed over here then user is able to log into the application of course yeah user should be able to log in user should be able to see the home page and user should be able to see the message that welcome naveen and this is also got a passed over here so all the test cases got passed and i put a common comment over here that this is as per expect like this and simple click on the result over here or if you really want to put any screenshot or something like this or video you can put it over here by browsing and something like this click on add result and you see that okay yeah all the test cases are coming in green color it means everything is running a fine right perfect then i'll go to test run result once again and i click on my first cycle once again and you see that okay yeah we have executed 50 percent test cases and someone is asking that okay hey tell me the status of your test execution i simply say that, yes 50 percent test cases got executed and the 50 percent past test cases are available like that then i'm going to execute my second test so a user is able to reset the password so you can directly change the status over here let's say i'm making it a pass once again and then you can it will open this particular box over here and then you can simple change the status over here as well and then you can assign the test to someone and then uh, if you have any defect if the particular test is getting failed you can uh, defect id also you can mention over here from your bug tracker so let's see i'll do one thing i click on this particular link and then i simple say that yeah if you have any comment you can add it or if you have any result you simple click on add result and then i simple say that yeah just uh, what is the status the status is passed i simple say that okay yeah this is as per uh, expected like this and then click on add result perfect so this is also test case got passed so i'll read this information from here but this template is outdated template guys generally i it's again it's up to you if you are comfortable for writing this particular template you can do that or if you're comfortable writing the template in the form of uh, multiple steps for each and every step you can put what exactly pass fail and actual result is coming against each and every step that also you can do that and some people they prefer this so it's up to you which template you really want to prefer for writing a test case and then this is also a done over here and then again you go to your uh, result run go to this particular cycle but before that you can see that 100 percent green bar means everything is fine in this particular cycle if someone is seeing that okay yeah 100 percent test cases and we have zero percent untested everything is getting passed over here let's see but again you are checking the application and then let's see reset password is not working now so i can make it a fail also let's see this time and then saying that okay yeah uh i simply say a reason over here why it got failed i simply say that okay yeah user is not able to uh, log in again with new password whatever the password that we have reset user is not able to log in again let's see this is the uh, actual result that i'm getting it and uh, let's see assign to naveen once again and uh, click on add a result you can put a screenshot and immediately your status will be changed in this particular cycle right like this and then you can come over here and you can check that okay yeah what happened earlier it was getting passed now it is getting failed you can check the history you can see that okay the graph like that and then uh, you can check that and again whatever the defect that you have raised you can put a defect over here right now it's saying zero defect because we haven't linked anything over there so you can raise and you can add the defect id there as well right like this you can simple do that so again i'll go to my test suite and cases if you really want to add more and more test cases keep adding the test cases over here you can add number of test suites also you can add that so let's add one more test suite over here so i click on add test suite once again and uh, this time i'm giving a different suite name let's see i'm giving that is amazon search a feature suite something like this i'm giving right and you can write up some description about what exactly you are gonna uh, test it over here and what type of test cases you are going to write <clears throat> so you see that okay this is the amazon application that i've already opened and you can write something you can search something let's see i'm writing uh, a macbook over here then i'm searching in from the search field and then i'm checking uh, filters i'm checking different results over here a complete flow that we really want to write so let's write up some basic flow over here so click on add test suite 
<clears throat> and uh, if you really want to do that, okay, in search, like see, I want to do that uh, search uh, with this particular search field and then a filter search also, I can do that. So I'm going to create two sections over here. I'm going to create one simple basic search, basic search, and I simple write, this is uh, test cases for basic search. I'll be writing if you test cases for a basic uh, search. Okay. And then click on add section over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a, some test cases over here. So let's create a test case over here. Let's see, click on add case, or you can directly add the case over here as well. If you really want to add it, you can add it also. And uh, let's, if you really want to add it, I think we have to add search feature suite this is fine and the section got added the basic search if you really want to add that particular section that also you can do that so let me save the section once again click on add <clears throat> and the case title is what i simple write let's see this is my a basic amazon uh, search okay this is the title with i would say with a different product okay so i'm just writing some basic uh, test over here this is the case got created case number c3 and then uh, you can click on add it and basic search is i'm going to select which template i want to select the test case with the steps template i want to select what type of it is it is the functional test what is the priority the priority is uh, let's see critical because user has to search over there and then what is the precondition the precondition i'm going to write that okay user <clears throat> and uh, should be able to or i would say user has already logged in okay to application and i would say that user is already uh, present on home page like this right so this is a precondition and uh, simple click on add step over here so this is the add step and right step over here so my first step i'm gonna write you don't need to write one dot because one is already written so what is the description let's see i want to enter a uh, click on search and then enter some field over there so enter some product name over here so i simply write click on search text field and enter some product name so let's see my product name see guys follow this particular pattern uh whenever you are using your test data so or you can use a double quotes also or you can use this particular pattern. I always follow whenever there is a variable part in your test case or kind of test data that you are using it, I always prefer within these two brackets or diamond bracket, I can use that. So let's see, I want to search for MacBook Air. I want to select a MacBook Pro, I want to select. And uh, when you search, click on search text field and enter this and then click on a search button like this, right? When you enter MacBook over here, you have to click on this particular search button or icon, whatever, or you can press enter also. Click on search button or I simply write press enter. What is the expected result? So when you search for that, the respective test, uh, respective result should be displayed with respect to MacBook. So I simply write that system should show uh, results for whatever the data that you're looking for, for MacBook Pro, <clears throat> product okay in the result section like this and then you simply click on add step over here so this is my first step that we have added second thing let's say i want to do that okay i want to click on a specific uh, product over here and i simply say that okay let's see click on the first uh, product and i simply say that uh, system should uh, display what exactly we do that let's say I'm clicking on the first product that we got so let's say I'm clicking on this and I simply say that okay yeah user should display the product information I'm simply writing like this so I simply say that okay user should display the uh, product information and what kind of information like something let's say price then you are going to write description and then the seller details whatever then blah 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 you can write it I'm not going to write everything over here like this so let's see this is the or two steps that we have written and and just simple click on save test 
So it got saved having two uh, test uh, steps that I have written within this particular Amazon search with a different product or a specific product, whatever you want to write, you can write it. Okay, now you do one thing, you just simply go back to this Amazon search feature. You can see having one test over here like this. Perfect. Now, if you really want to add one more subsection, that also you can uh, do it over here, guys, right? So I'll do one thing. I'll go to my uh, result suite in cases over here. You can see that Amazon search feature suite got created. You just click on it and you can see having one test over here. If you really want to add more sec uh, more cases, you can add it more and more uh, uh, test cases over here like that. OK, <clears throat> now uh, we do one thing that is. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's click on um, add it over here and OK, this is fine. And I'll add one more instead of subsection, I'll add one more case over here. Okay, can we create one more section that will be good? So this is a section. Okay, I think uh, add a subsection and let's see if I really want to create one more subsection. Let's see search. I'll simple write search with a uh, filters. All right, this is a section that I have created. So yeah, one more section got created and then you want to add one more case over here. I simply write that okay user is able to search with uh, different filters see guys why i'm writing all these things so that i can show you this is what practically generally we do that okay but i'm not writing all the full flash test cases that you can practice accordingly and then you click on this and then what you do you simply edit this and let's quickly add uh, one more uh, test over here with different steps. This is again part of functional. The priority is let's see medium, not that in okay uh, filters. And I simply say that okay user is uh, already on home page like that. So user has is already on home page, and I would say that user <coughs> has already logged in to application. Okay, so okay, perfect. And uh, let me quick add one or two steps over here. So I simply write user searches for some different product. Let's see, my product name is I simply write MacBook uh, Pro like this. This is my first step. And what exactly you are expecting? Okay, all the uh, products with filter section because you see that when you display the product details with the filter section over here this is these are called filters all right and uh, yeah so this is my first thing and simple add one more step over here and then i simply say user selects or checks filter let's see uh, the delivery day right by tomorrow or within two days or something like this let's see user uh, selects delivery day as okay let's see by uh, tomorrow and then it should display what then your system should display the results for the same product remember this thing for the same product with the applied filter whatever the filter that we have applied over there so like this let's see i have add this i have added this particular test over here having two steps now perfect now it's time to execute the cycle once again so i'll go to my test run and let's see this feature is available in the next cycle in the next build and uh, we have to do a regression so i have to start my regression test cycle number two so how to do that i simple click on add a test run okay and then simple click on add test run and this time i'm giving a different you can select which suite that you want to select. So let's see, I say that, okay, yeah, I want to select search feature suite because uh, uh, in the next regression, let's say you want to do that. I would say that, okay, yeah, I want to do a Amazon search. You click on okay, and then you can put your references and user story or something like this, assigned to someone, let's see, to me, and the description you can write like this. Include all the test cases, yes, or specific test cases, you can also do that. 
but let's include all the test cases click on add test run you will see that okay yeah amazon search feature suite that i have created which is uh, having a, a basic search and then then we have subsection that is called search with filters also and this is also having one test and this is having one test over here i want to execute first basic search with a different product i can see the things over here and then i have to add a result over here now before adding the result what you can do you can click on this start progress it will calculate that okay how much time it will take you can see that you have been working on this test for zero minutes so that you can actually time you can actually calculate a time how much time i'm taking it so let's say add result i see that okay yeah search is absolutely fine and then i'll come over here the first thing is that click on search text field and for macbook and expected is that search uh, system should show result for macbook it got passed perfect and uh, second guy also system should display the product information with price description seller details and this is also got passed like that and then click on add result perfect like this so you can see that all these information over here again i'll go to uh, click on this basic search is done 50 percent test cases got passed and then i'm going to search with the filters click on this and then i quickly again start the progress i want to calculate my progress over here click on add a result over here and let's see the filter is not working so i simply say that okay yeah this is actually a uh, failed over here and i simply say that okay uh, filters are not working right and i simply say that the respective test got failed user is able to search let's see this is a step got passed but uh, user selects delivery day as uh, tomorrow this is also passed okay but it should display the result for the same product with the applied filter which is not getting passed so let's see overall the step got failed over here so i mark it fail over here it's not a blocker but it got failed and if you have any specific uh, defect let's use the same defect you are going to raise and then you can put it over here so you can start a timing over timer over here because we have given one minute i think and it's taking that okay yeah, elapsed 53 seconds or sorry uh, 53 seconds or something like this you can stop it you can pause it okay like that sorry forget about one minute that was nothing related to over here it means how much time you spend on this one minute two minute and all those things and click on add result so that you can calculate this thing that okay how much time for this particular test generally we take so you can calculate the uh, effort estimation and everything you can calculate accordingly you can see that yeah expected result one got failed you go back to this and then this week you see that okay yeah 50 percent got passed just because of this thing one got failed like that so this is the overall result then uh, you can see the progress you click on this progress and then you will see that uh, uh, remaining effort forces no, uh, forecast not available 100 percent test completed over here and uh, and uh, yeah so this test actually started three minutes ago completed and elapsed time it took around one minute like this so it will calculate the data accordingly or time accordingly perfect again go back to your test runs and result and in the uh, test uh, cycle number two if you really want to add it let's add it over here that is my let's see this is not a regression we're just going to check uh, test only search feature suite so instead of calling the uh, regression cycle let's see this is my uh, sprint number uh, five is going on so sprint five uh, testing cycle that we have created so I simply say that this is my sprint five testing cycle and and because might be possible in the same sprint you might be using a couple of uh, cycles so let's say this is a sprint the first cycle over here like this zero one so you can do it and then you simply save it with this name that looks more proper because last time we executed with the complete regression this time we are going to execute with the sprint five testing cycle zero one and this is the current status now let's see the same cycle we want to uh, in the within the same cycle let's see some test case got uh, fixed the failure test is working fine the build is available once again and what we have to do this time is getting passed i make it pass over here and i simply say that okay yeah as per expected it's let's see it's uh, working fine now and then all other steps are getting passed this is also getting passed and you simple add the result and this time in the cycle two I mean this within the same cycle in the next iteration it got passed over here so you can check it's absolutely fine now okay go back to result and this time you can see so you can maintain a complete dashboard kind of thing over here 
and then uh, you can see all the different cycles your regression cycle your feature cycle your sprint cycles and uh, you can maintain like that okay now different plans also you can do that let's see you are uh, different test plans you want to do let's for example let's say cross browser testing i want to do i want to do let's see uh, performance testing or security testing for that particular feature so you can create add a test plan also so just click on add test plan what is the name so you can see this example example like all supported browser or operating system database combinations i want to test so this is a test plan i want to create and then i'll be associating a different test cases over here so i simply create let's see this is my uh, cross a browser uh, testing for amazon application right and description also i'll be writing the same description over here and click on add a test plan over here so you will see that okay the plan got added you can edit the plan and you can see this successfully added the test plan over here right and uh, if you click on edit once again you can add it and you can add your test suites now in that particular plan so uh, click on this particular add suite and which suite that you want to add so let's see i want to add my login page and click on ok perfect and again i'm going to add the second suite once again feature that is for search feature click on ok you see that okay both the uh, login page suite and amazon search feature suite also got added over here and click on this particular save test right and yeah we are adding these two guys click on ok perfect it got added so my test plan is that cross browser testing for amazon application i want to test it on multiple browsers something like this so we don't need to create the multiple test cases again and again for the different browsers and now you can start executing your test cases click on a rerun and then you can simply click on ok and then uh, you can start a rerun over here so let's uh, do one thing uh, plan got added <clears throat> okay and uh, let's click on this individual test over here and now click on this particular pass you can add your steps over here individual test you can mark it uh, steps you can mark it pass fail or pass fail whatever let's see everything is getting passed for different browsers and you can put a note over here uh, test it for a chrome firefox internet explorer and safari like this let's say randomly i'm just simple writing these uh, four browsers i'm using it and simple add the result same thing user is able to reset the password is working on okay for all the browsers i simply put a comment over here add the result and then we are good to go so this is perfectly fine that cross border testing for amazon application the login page got passed without any uh, problem again i click on this particular test plan and then we have one more uh, test suite click on this particular test suite guys you have to click on it and then you have to uh, execute test cases click on pass again i uh, tested for these browsers everything is getting passed and click on the first product this is also getting passed and click on add the result perfect same thing user is able to search with different uh, filters on different browsers again let's see this time this is uh, getting failed assume that okay we are testing on this and uh, <clears throat> we are just clicking on this uh, let's see this is a uh, got pass but the second one got failed over here and uh, it's saying you can write the individual actual results also guys so what are the result over here so let's see i'm writing this is as per expected but let's see when we apply the filter i simply say that okay filter is not working firefox browser let's see there is a bug in the firefox right only for that particular step i make it fail and if you have any <clears throat> the defect you have to gonna raise it you can put a defect over here like that the version you tested against let's say i'm writing 1.0 version assigned to whom assigned to let's see to me naveen <clears throat> and then click on add result it got failed like that perfect you go back to your results and here you see that okay this is my uh test see i'll go back once again this is the test plan actually and these are my cycles these are my test runner cycles guys that's why you can see that okay these are my runner cycles and these are my uh, test plan so you can create multiple plans okay for the different types of testing uh, you want to do performance testing you want to do a complete uh, regression or or uh, maybe uh, database testing or uh, uh, maybe security testing or some database validation specific 
for specific test suite or test cases you want to add that also you can do that and then you can check the status so it will be really good for the po developers everyone and manual testers and automation guys that yeah this is the current result that is what we are getting amazingly good right it's very nice tool and uh, a lot of companies are using it test plan so uh, make sure that okay you guys are used to with these things now go back to this particular test suite and uh, cases once again if you really want to add some more test suites you can add it if you really want to update the existing one let's see on the login page some other features also got added so you can again add some more and more test you can delete the test also so i'll do one thing let me just cancel this and uh, let's go to this particular amazon this if you really want to add some more test cases let's see forgot password got added so i simple write that okay forgot like this this is a which section the test case section and i want to use let's see test case as a step or text let's see as a step and uh, what type of feature it's a functional type the priority is again high priority i'll simple write it and uh, i simple write that okay user should be and i'm going to write some step over here so click on add step and i simple write a simple basic description that um first uh, step over here user not step uh, sorry uh, not definite a description is a proper step so user clicks on forgot password a link this is my first step and user should be able to navigate a page over here something like this okay user clicks on forgot password link and then that's it so click on add test over here got added only one step <clears throat> right so i'll do one thing let me go to uh, uh click on test cases this has got added I forgot password test got added i want to see this thing perfectly fine okay and uh, i just click on add it once again i want to add some more steps over here so click on add step and uh, the next one is uh, let's see i just have to enter my email id and uh, phone number and i simply say that okay yeah user should be able to enter email and a phone number like that this is my second step and the third step is that user let's see there is a submit button which will okay use when you user clicks on submit button then what happens then uh, it should otp number to change the password or let's see otp number or a temporary password i simple write and <clears throat> or phone number i would say something like this whatever the feature is accordingly designed like that okay okay add the step over here and then i'm going to write my final step that user otp perfect so the step is that user is able to change the password using otp and this is the last step or maybe we can add one more step that okay user is user enters the new password for the login and i simply write that user is able to log in to to amazon application and then user should be able to see the home page like that so this is the two expected result we have written and now the save the test <clears throat> this particular test is having five steps over here okay so in amazon login page we have actually now three test cases and every test will have the respective test id over here c1 c2 c3 like this if you really want to add some more subsections you can do that you can edit it you can add some more columns over here okay the width of the id you can do that you want to add some more columns that automation type who created actually like this you can add this particular column click on update the column created by my okay by nabeen so you will get to know that okay yeah who is the creator of this guy if you really want to add some more columns so simply click on add column and then uh, let's see uh, what is the priority if you have given add the column and then update the column so we have given high critical high priority like that right this is what generally we follow in the okay in the in the excel sheet also in quality center also like see let's see what are different columns are available click on add column and then updated by type template section forecast estimate also created on date also updated on all those things what type of test cases it is all these are functional test cases according to me you can design the width over here how many characters it will take like this and you can uh, change the um, order also with these arrows you can do that so click on update the column 
you can see all these are functional level test cases over here this is what guys you can do this is the designing part and this is a runner part where you execute your test cases like that okay now i'll go to my regression cycle 1.0 once again i'll see over here that okay the forgot password also got added which is actually untested because this is a new feature that we have added so whenever there is a new feature and now let's see the build is uh, ready for the uh, for the production so what we have to do instead of uh, updating over here because you never know because while adding while adding this feature forgot password might be possible that okay the login and the reset password got changed you never know so in that case what we have to do we have to create a new cycle all the time so whenever new features or maybe a new release we are going to okay deliver so once in a sprint we should have at least one regression cycle so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a test run over here and this time i'm going to add let's see first login page click on okay it got added over here i simply say that uh, uh include all the test cases right and uh, i can simple forgot password i can test it now i click on this has got passed and i make everything got passed now so let me write it this is for the first time login with a different username let's see fine reset password i'm going to check this is also got passed so i'll say that okay yeah this has got passed forgot password now i'm going to test it and i simply say yeah this is also got passed click on forgot password link perfect this is getting passed and i can write individual result also like as per this is fine it's okay to write guys as per expected otherwise it will very time taking it will be very time taking that you are writing yeah user is able to see the forgot password link and user is able to do that for each and everything if you are writing actual result that is again time taking so you can write as per expected whatever you are expecting as per expected some managers they oppose this that okay no you have to write what exactly is happening and then you have to put a screenshot over here but again that is very time taking so running the cycle you should take care about uh, you know what kind of uh, actual versus expected result that you are writing and um, it's not compulsory that okay you are writing too much amount of information about each and every step otherwise uh, it will take a lot of time to execute thousand test cases or if you have 500 test cases like that okay so let's see a simple generally i put follow follow as per expected and uh, actual result also as per expected and this is passed and user is able to change the password using otp yeah this is also getting passed enter the result as per expected and the user enters new password for the login this is absolutely fine enter the actual result getting passed and uh, overall everything is fine you can write as per expected okay something like this you can write and then click on add result so everything got passed over here like this here also in the result also you can add multiple columns okay you can uh, <clears throat> add multiple columns you can assign to a specific person let's see uh, uh, you can sort it on the basis of that this is a sorting feature you can sort it and uh, uh, when you are uh, running your test cases that time also you can assign to someone if you really want to rerun you can rerun like that okay and then let's go back to this and you can see that yeah amazon login page let me uh, do one thing just click on it and let me edit this name let's see this amazon login page we actually tested for regression cycle number 2.0 we did that okay and it actually assigned to me let's see some guy naveen and like this okay so once save the test over here it got passed with regression cycle 2.0 right so like this guys you can add multiple tests and execute multiple test cases over here now one thing is that <clears throat> once your let's see cycle is gone i mean is absolutely fine production release is also done i want to close this particular run so it's important guys that uh this test run to prevent uh, future modifications so that nobody is going to change the uh this particular runner otherwise what will happen that okay might be possible that okay some other guy is making some test case fail and uh in the production you are getting some bugs and then immediately your manager will see that okay hey show me your results and then you can fight over there that okay no my test cases were absolutely fine i don't know some someone has actually uh, marked them failed so you should have some proof over here so best thing is that please close this run don't delete this please close this run for the future point of view so that no one can uh, modify if you don't close it people are still able to modify this so just click on this and then yes and then it's closed now perfectly fine this is a final 
a result successfully close the test run the test run is completely so this feature is also very important right let's see you the sprint 5 is still going on assume that so in the sprint 5 you are doing multiple iterations today also you're testing tomorrow also testing three four days multiple times we have tested it so you can change the status you can change or update the status accordingly multiple times within the same cycle you don't need to create one more test cycle or test run cycle over there once everything is done then later on you can uh, close that particular cycle okay then you can close this so moment i close it okay now no one can modify that it's closed perfectly okay if you really want to close it let's see i just see it's closed it's going in the completed section over here and these are the open cycles that's a good feature that right these are my closed cycles i can check the history from here and these are the open cycles and then uh, guys this is an overview dashboard you will see that this is uh, about your application this is what is happening these are the test runs these are the current activities are going on okay these are the test runs that we have created we have two test suites over here so overall a dashboard also you will be seeing over here like this and these are the to do's uh, things it will show over here let's see what exactly is saying in to do's it's saying okay yeah you have two cycles which are uh, not in the complete state so let's see i'll just uh, if you really want to make them close you can close that as well okay yeah uh, let's see this is still in fail let's see i'll just make it pass click on the result okay if you add it just close this uh, test plan also so test plan also same way you can close it let's see cross border testing is completed it's closed like this i'll go to my overview and now you see that okay now we have in the to do's list only this particular cycle that we can do it later <clears throat> okay so if you really want to see uh, all the uh, test reads all the test runs all the different milestone you can check it over here like this now if you really the project doesn't have any active milestone you can add a new milestone so let's add a milestone now so milestone means let's see internal beta or sprint 4 or version 1.0 this is this is what i want to achieve with this particular milestone so let's see uh, i simple say that a version or let's see some uh, i would say beta release for amazon like this and which beta release i would say beta 1.0 release okay if you have any reference documentation or wiki page or something you can do that if you have any parent milestone no we don't have any miles parent milestone and this is a description i'll just copy paste the same thing and this is a start date and end date you can do that so let's see this is a starting today and end date is on the same day or you can add multiple days over here and this milestone is completed no simple add this particular milestone so you can see that okay yeah this is the milestone in december month and upcoming milestone that we have okay so when you uh, go to your test runs and the results and you simply click on your cycle number 1.0 and uh, if you uh, rerun it let's see i'm just going to uh, rerun it once again so let's or let's see go to edit over here and here you can actually select the milestone that we have created it means this particular cycle is related to my beta 1.0 release for amazon okay and uh, you simple save the test run and once everything is done i make that see this this reset password functionality also uh, fixed and it is getting passed and you simple say that okay yeah this is as per expected over here and click on the result over here and the forgot password in this cycle again i'm making it pass and uh, i simple say that let's see quickly make them pass over here because this is a new cycle actually guys that we created and we have added all the test cases over there so click on result once again everything got passed perfect and then simple uh, click on this added and close this run also and yes now you go to your overview you see that okay you don't have any to do's and uh, this is uh, these are the activities okay that you have and uh, you can uh, check the history you can check the test changes over here okay like this so complete dashboard it will uh, it will show you and uh, yeah if you click on reports so different type of reports you can check over here summary summary for cases summary for references all those things guys you can uh, you can explore by your own later whenever you okay it's very simple very straightforward you can check it right guys okay i'll uh, go to this time report section and in the report section also it's a there are a lot of types of reports you can say that case wise defect wise result wise the summary wise if you have any milestone 
if you have any plan or something like that so let's say i go to milestone over here you see that we have one milestone okay so this is actually a template okay this is this is that milestone template and what are the name you want to give of the milestone you can give that these are different configurations you can see the milestone will be accessed by everyone or by myself okay you can create this particular report right now or via api or something so generally we don't use on demand by api someone is trying to use uh, this particular milestone we can give an access via api and uh, once the report is ready notify me via email or uh, email a link to the report okay to this particular required test rail access so you have to give the access over here like that so there are a lot of options you can see that and then let's see click on add the milestone report please select a milestone so yeah we have to select the milestone this is for beta 1.0 milestone and then we'll add the report over here so you can see that uh, this is a private report because it's selected only by me and it's uh, actually creating a report over here like this and once it is ready you can just click on it let's see click on it and this is the complete report we can see for that particular beta 1.0 release for amazon we had a three tests got passed zero blocker like this and you can share this particular report to anyone and how many cycles yeah we had uh, this particular 1.0 cycle which got completed on this particular date and these are the activities these are the test cases that we executed completed by navin tested by this guy so complete report with the progress graph and everything you will be uh, seeing over here different matrices different um uh, results cycle results you will be getting it over here with the proper estimate and everything like that so you can configure it you can uh, prepare it a uh, different type of report that's really good and uh, you can uh, see this download by uh, with html or download a pdf report also if you really want to do that and you can put 404 not found maybe okay maybe address we have to pass and the send report no i think something some happened maybe with the test account maybe this feature is not working so let it be like this you can explore it later okay go back let me check with the download html is working yeah html is working over here it will give you a zip file it will give you one html file you can directly send me the send this email you can print it also this particular report like that let's click on report section once again and then case wise also you can do that and a summary of the defects also you can get it over here directly and the result also comparison for cases references property distribution how many test plans that you have created project wise report also you will get it so let's see we have only one project right like this and uh, you can select all these are uh, different template properties you can select that and then you can generate a project wise uh, report also you want to generate right now yes only to me yes if you everyone then you can select with the everyone also like this so let's make it only for myself and click on add the report so earlier we created the milestone report now this time we are creating the overall project report so overall project report a case report a defect summary report defect for cases report milestone reports a lot of different types of report which will be helpful uh, to create some matrices or uh, you can share these reports to your team to your management or the client also you can do that the report is ready just click on it and you see that okay yeah with the proper logo test rail logo and the complete summary uh, by navin on this particular date this is the project amazon application and uh, different graphs information how many test cycles test cases history everything uh, you will be okay uh, seeing over here like that perfect so likewise guys you can do this thing as well right now uh, let's go to the administration part administration part is not that important because uh, it will be uh, for the overall administrative level configuration that uh, uh, if you really want to add some plugin or you want to add some api enab uh, enablers you want to do that user and roles if you want to create so let's go to the project level uh, administration we have one project you can add multiple projects so it's not like okay everybody is able to create the project so let's see you are the admin and there is a new team over there so they will request you to create a new project over here so let's see you are going to create a new project over here let's say this time i'm going to create a project name is uh, uh, i want to test uber app or let's say in amazon only let's say i want to take uh, order order management team over here okay so order management for amazon like this and you can announce that okay yeah this is a project that okay we are going to launch post announcement also you can do that and the same formula 
single repository you want single repository with baseline support and you want multiple test suite to manage that also you can uh, do that okay so it's up to you i have already explained what you mean by single repository single repository with the baseline support i would prefer multiple test suite to manage cases because we really need multiple a test suite for uh, for the single project or for the single application and let's see click on add project project got created and then and then we are good to go with that okay now <clears throat> let's see the user and roles here you can see that okay yeah i have this admin user you can add multiple users over here and uh, simple click on add user once again full name email address in your company let's see a new joinee is there and you want to uh, create an account for that guy and then give the access and everything okay you can do that all these things so invite user via email or manually specify a password no invitation is sent like this also you can do that locale uh, specification also you can do that let's see you are in india and that person in somewhere in uh, let's say in japan so according to the local wise also you can select the country wise also you can select that which theme all those things you can overall common theme across the organization you can decide and you can do that perfect you can give the access uh, what kind of role we have tester a tester a designer lead role a read only or no access only read only let's see there is a uh, there is a contractor you just want to give only uh, read only access for all the test cases test suite project and everything so that guy will have only read only like this okay you can make that guy as an administrator also like this you can do that right guys and then we have oauth so configure oauth uh, generally it is for uh, uh, assemble instance might be configured by the administrator before connecting via oauth so you have to first of all install it and you have to connect the account but generally you can ignore that part even i haven't explored it much i haven't used this thing so you can ignore that and which project this guy is associated with that so you can see that okay yeah this guy is the in oms amazon he is a tester but here he is uh, let's see a lead over here so like this you can select or let's see someone is working as a developer over there designer developer lead role or global role he's a vp or maybe testing uh, testing head is there or a test manager is there so you can give according a uh, different roles over there and then you simply click on add user and then the user will be created some level of customizations also you can do that okay you can uh, add multiple fields uh, what type of estimation milestone references so okay, you can customize at the admin level you can do that in the result field what exactly you want to show version labs defect steps you can do that these are templates if you have other templates you can add more templates over there but this is not important for you guys because you will be working as not the a test rail administrator you will be working as a tester over there and you have to use the feature of the designing part and the running part and the dashboard that is important for you guys but uh, if you are working as an administrator and you have the responsibility to configure it and it's very easily configured uh, you can configure and then a lot of good documentation is also available you can check the documentation videos and everything you can check that then you go to integration yeah that part i can take it later maybe in some other video you can configure zira accordingly and then you can uh, connect with your zira also it's saying click the button below to set up the integration between zira and test rail that is possible the integration enables you to view zira issues and add new issues directly from directly from test rail wow that's a really good feature that the moment you raise a bug over here immediately it will be raised in zira we just need to click on configure zira so let's see for test management point of view you are using test rail but for defect management point of view and the user story and the sprint management point of view you are using zira for that so you can integrate between a test rail and the zira but you should have a zira account in your company but uh sometime maybe in some company they might not prefer that because you have to pay for zira and you have to pay for uh, this uh, test rail also but it depends okay company to company if you have that definitely you can do that <clears throat> if you are not using any defect management tool you can uh, use your configure assembler assembler is another uh, tool you can see that click the button below to set up the integration between assembler and test rail a test rail the integration enables you to view assembler tickets and add new tickets directly from test rail that's a nice feature okay so this is a assembler defect management tool and you can uh, view assembler defects over here in the test rails also you can see that right guys 
So this is the configuration you can configure with the Jira server on the cloud also. You can do that. So these are the different integrations are available. You go to the subscription and uh, this is the trial subscription. Uh, okay, for this particular account, you really want to extend, you have to pay for it and you have to manage your subscription for uh, whatever according to their subscription plan and everything. You can see that these are the plans okay per month and per year and something like this you can read and then you can check it over there or you can directly contact to them like that and then the last part is the site settings in the site settings guys these are the different uh, whatever the uh, installation name so let's see whatever the name is test rail qa let's say i'm working in amazon i simply say that this is my amazon uh, test rail over here which language default language default locale and uh, default time zone user server time zone i would prefer not specific to the uh, specific time zone and simple click on save the settings the moment i save the settings you will see that okay it got changed amazon test rail over here like this you can uh, enable email notification yes for every activity it will uh, give you the email notification for any test changes or any uh, test results got updated like that you can uh, also disable on per user basis via my settings also that you can do that then the site settings for the login text also you can whatever the custom text login page you want to define that also you can do that password policy you can define at least eight characters 12 characters all those things and if you have any custom uh, uh, password policy you want to define that also you can uh, do that so that's a really good feature allow access test rail from the following ips so you can give the range of the IP addresses that within this particular range only people can access that or within your company network also company network IP addresses range also you can do that so that from outside of your company network people cannot access your uh, uh, test tail over here like that. Okay, click on this. I think this is nothing. It's blank over here and yeah, this is also ideal session timeout policy. Those things you can do that guys keep me logged in checkbox all the time that also it will never be logged out okay uh, so this also you can uh, have a look over here this is the pagination limit 500 generally okay short and last name nice thing you can upload your logo also whatever the logo that you have so let's see i have uh, let me add a logo so do i have a okay so let's see i have this particular aws logo and simple click on open and then your logo will be added over there and simple save the settings so logo should be visible maybe on your dashboard or somewhere it will be should be visible then the next part is the site settings you have to enable the api can be used to integrate with test automation tools this is something very important and for ui customization maybe we can take this particular part later guys because when you enable the uh, authentication and simple apis why are the api you just call the api from your test automation from the test ng Let's see, we're using Selenium web driver with test ng, which is simple uh, trigger for the failure test case and automatically it will update your test case over here. You can uh, or, or map whatever the automation test cases with the manual test cases that you have written over here like that. So let's save this particular setting. You can enable the APIs as well. So it got, uh, I think it got saved or not yet. Okay, it got saved and uh, that is the auditing part auditing logging that you can this is the explore the enterprise version maybe we can check it later not that important streamline user management with single sign on also you can enable that is again with the enterprise version that also you can um, uh, ignore that part as of now and backup for launch restore for <clears throat> at the push of a button so you can restore and then you can uh, uh, take a backup for the entire data everything Zira also provides the same feature because I have worked as a Zira administrator sometimes in my previous company. So I know all these things like that. So I think uh, it's not that important guys the admin section, but uh, if you really want to know you can uh, simple see that over there. So let's go back to dashboard and uh, let me refresh this page. Okay, I don't see where exactly the logo anyways, maybe. Okay, so I think when we have to log out and log in again could be maybe the logo will be visible over here somewhere. Or maybe in the test in the test account in the free account maybe they have not that so let me just log out maybe this is my username click on reset password okay this time i got successful now let me enter my email id and the password i'm going to enter and login again done so good 
in fact i'll show you the email which i have got which is my logo actually with the amazon logo that we have set up over there okay so see this is the see that this is the email that's just i got for the forgot password you can see the logo over here okay but i don't see uh, this thing here it should be visible maybe i'll go to my settings okay anyway that we can check it later guys that uh, not that important so thank you so much guys thanks for watching this particular video i hope it is really helpful and uh, just like that i have already prepared a complete video on zira you can uh, check it uh, zira introduction by navin how to set up how to install all the things i have completed over there and the same thing we have done for test trail if you have any other tool in your mind let's see quality center or something like this we can prepare one more video for that and i'll try to prepare one video with our uh, test rail integration with selenium as well later on that will be part of automation i don't want to cover within the same uh, with the same video so that's all for uh, this particular video guys thank you so much i hope you got to know about complete idea about uh, test rail please explore it and let me know if you have uh, some more features or new feature that you really want to share with others put in the comment section please subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know if you have any issues thank you so much guys